Today I'll be showing you how to quickly remove the background from your design and then save your file. Let's get started. Today we'll be focusing on the magic wand tool. The magic wand tool allows you to quickly select an area of colors within your design and remove the background. So to get started with that, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our design. We have a black background with the design on front that I made here quickly for this project, uh, a little Halloween themed design. Um, and we have it on a black background. So we want to have this on a t-shirt, but we don't want it to have it with the black background, which is a pretty common request. Um, so to quickly remove this background, the easiest way is actually to go over in Photoshop and select your magic wand tool. Now, many different graphic programs offer the magic wand tool. So you'll see it in other programs, uh, very much the same. It's often called, called the same thing, the magic wand tool. Go over to your design, select the background image, which is the black area. It'll highlight the background here, and this will be your actual current selection. Um, now the magic wand tool does have a tolerance you can set. So if you're not quite getting the selection that you want, you can play with the tolerance. The higher the tolerance, the more colors it will actually accept within your selection. The lower the tolerance, the less colors it will actually select within your selection. Um, so in this case, we have it set to five, which is perfect for what we have here. Um, and then now we're simply gonna go over to our keyboard and select delete. Now that removed the background there. So now we can click off of that. And now we have our design here the way we'd want it, but we still have our canvas, which is a little bit too big, which is this outside area. And so we want to adjust that canvas to fit tightly to the size of this design. So the easiest way to do that is to go up to image, select trim, and you're going to go just to transparent pixels here and select okay. And that will trim your design to, to the actual the canvas to the size of your design. Um, in this case here, so we have it trimmed. Um, now we just want to make sure that the size of the design is at the correct specs that we want for upload. So we're going back up to image. We're going to go to image size. And right now it's about 10 inches at 200 dpi. And we're going to go ahead and change that to 15. And we're going to keep the resolution the same. Select OK. This will resize the image here momentarily. All right, our image is resized here. Now, when you're saving out your design, this is the next important step. You want to make sure to save it out as a image that will actually support transparency. So these little checkered background indicates that the design is on a transparent background. And so we're going to go ahead up what I suggest to save it as a PNG graphic. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and just save it as format PNG. And then we're going to just place this on my desktop and hit save. Call this boo one and hit save. And that's it for that. Now our design is saved to our desktop. Now so we can go over to our spread shop and simply upload that design and it'll be ready for print on our t-shirts. Now something to keep in mind is to make sure that when you're saving out the design that it's saved out at the correct size. So you may get an error that says this file is too large or this image is too large. And to correct that, um, what that actually means is the image is actually too small when you're trying to size it for a size that's too large on the product. And that just basically means that we saved it out at the incorrect specs and the, we can't size design to where we'd want it on the actual product. So for example, if you go back up here and select image and we go to image size, and we say, for example, this design was a lower resolution image. So most images that you'll find on Google or image search will be at 72 DPI at a much smaller size. So we're going to set this to around five inches and 72 DPI and hit OK. Now this image is not acceptable for print and you'll see why not only has the resolution is too low for the actual printing processes, um, when you upload it, you actually get this error. Now this error display if the design is actually too small um, and the resolution is too low and you won't let you actually size the design up to fit correctly on the product. So make sure to pay attention to that whenever you're actually creating your designs um, and you'll be good to go. So that's about it. So like I said, select your background, select delete, and then simply save the design out as a PNG graphic and you'll be good to go. Um, feel free to leave any comments you have below for any other um, things you'd like to have covered. We'll make sure to cover that in the next video as well. Um, I hope that was helpful, and thanks again. We'll see you again next time.